Hi everyone, it's your girl Sammy Wella. You're welcome to Mela's TV show. So in today's video, I'm just going to walk you guys through the process of doing a homemade yogurt with powdered milk. I did one, so I took my time to do this video step by step for anyone that wants to use powdered milk to make a homemade yogurt by themselves. But before I go, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, turn on your notification button. So whenever your girl drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. And also, in February 2022, Mela TV show will be coming up with their first annual dinner. So that's going to be the first and it's titled The Chronicles of Love Volume 1. So you don't want to miss that because it's a red carpet ballroom dinner. So it's strictly for my Lataya. I want to see my ladies in their ball gown. I want to see my ladies in their dresses and I want to see my guys in their suits looking all glamorous so i'm inviting you all and i'm gonna attach the flyer the flyer is already out but i'm gonna attach it at the end of this video and more updates will be followed as time goes by the location and everything will be given out to you guys as the time comes closer so don't forget you guys have to be there because you want to support your girl. You want to support my vision. Mela TV show is for everyone. Thank you guys for being part of the struggle onto this point that I am with Mela TV show within a year. I just want to appreciate you all. Thank you for being part. And don't forget, I'll give you more updates about the dinner and red carpets. It's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining because we're going to have fashion. We're going to have comedy. We're going to have good music. All these, the goodies. Don't forget. So save the date, February 12, 2022, Chronicles of Love, Volume 1 by Mela TV Show. I love you all. Stay blessed. Peace. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I'm using pig milk, powdered pig milk, sugar, and the uh, yogurt. And this is the dish that I'm going to use. I cleaned up the dish already. The powdered milk is ready. And I'm just going to use my measuring cup. That's a one cup, full cup measuring cup. So I'm just going to pour the milk in there. And then turn it into the bowl. So the measurements can be complete. So I'm trying to level up the cup so it can be full. Yeah, but it's giving me a hard time. So I had to get the half cup. Because it can fit into the milk tin. Oh uh, yeah. So I'm using the half cup measuring spoon. And then just pour it. So that I can have the exact measurement. That I want for the milk. So I already have one cup of it. And I'm going to measure another one. So yeah. For this measurement. I'm going to be using two and a half cup of powdered milk. Yes. So I'm going to be using two and a half cups of powdered milk. For this particular um yogurt that i'm going to be making so i i just put the second cup and i'm trying to measure the half yeah so that's what i'll be using for this one and i have my lukewarm water in the glass i put the lukewarm water and try to blend to mix the powdered milk and the water first and i have another water boiling in the kitchen so that's the other water i'm going to pour into this mixture so i just want to get everything dissolved first with the lukewarm water and then now i'm going to add the boiled water into it yeah i'm going to pour so for this boiled water i had it leveled to one and a half cups yeah i have one cup and half in the boiler yeah that's the amount of water that i boiled so that's what i'm going to be using in order to do the mixture for this particular one so i just poured half of it and I'm going to add some more because I need it. Yeah, the water is boiled and I need some more so the milk can really, really be dissolved and the liquid can be the way I want it to be. As you can see, I'm still mixing it with a mixing spoon. Yeah. Yeah, this process takes like two to three minutes. It doesn't take too long. Two to three minutes of the mixing so everything can well dissolve together. So I'm just going to cover it for a while. I'm going to put it in the microwave for just two minutes. So I t now it's done. I took it off the microwave and I'm scooping out the, the heat, the ones that remain on top after heating it in the microwave. 
so i'm just taking them off before i start blending it again so i'm using my yogurt non-fat yogurt and i'm going to use two and i'm just using the yogurt because of yes i just want to change the flavor it's nothing else it's non-fat so i'm just going to add it into the powdered milk blend it together so i'm using the mixing spoon again to mix it together for it to be well dissolved again so yeah i use two spoon of the non-fat yogurt yeah because i want the flavor in it yeah i didn't use sour cream so i'm using this yogurt so i can get the sour taste yes also and then the flavor of the yogurt so i'm just going to keep blending it together for the yogurt and the milk to be completely mixed together into liquid that's my mom <laughs> she said i mixed it too much so yeah so i'm just going to cover it now now that the mixture is done i'm going to wrap it up yes i'm going to wrap it first i use a plastic to cover it that plastic has already been washed before putting it there and i'm going to use a blanket yeah to cover it over the plastic with the bowls yeah with the bowl already yes yeah. so i'm going to wrap it properly and then i'm just going to keep this for 8 to 12 hours yes i'm going to leave it like this in a place where there is heat so for this i'm just going to put it in my closet because i have no vent in my room closet so i'm just going to put it in my closet and leave it there for 8 to 12 hours so you see it's time now i took it off and as you can see everything is just stick together no more liquid the liquid all everything has become like this so this is your yogurt you already have your homemade yogurt if you want to do it so i'm just gonna do the like we normally do in africa so you see that's the yogurt so whatever you want to do you can put it in the freezer the fridge and whenever you need it you can just cut and just do whatever you want to do with it but for this particular video i'm going to be adding sugar to it like we used to do in africa that's the one i'm going to be doing today so you see i'm going to pour sugar into this blend it again together and then my yogurt is ready to be served so yeah I, i'm just gonna put yeah because it already has like the sour taste when you taste this it has nothing so i'm gonna put sugar because we're gonna be eating it at home just like snack yes it's gonna be like a snack so yeah i poured a cup of sugar and i'm trying to blend it together because i have to really really blend the sugar for it to completely be dissolved as you can see i only put the sugar after the process so it needs to really really be dissolved and well blended with the yogurt as you can see now it still has the sour taste so i think at this point i need to add a little bit more sugar into it yes yeah, so i just pour half cup of sugar again and yeah so this should be perfect so i just keep blending it until all the sugar dissolves into everything is well blended the sugar is dissolved yes so that's all i'm still gonna do this process like the first one i'm gonna keep blending it for like for about three minutes yeah like three to four minutes that should be okay the sugar should be well blended because that's why i'm using this spoon the wooden spoon because it helps to make it to make it faster so those are my cups i got it from amazon they have like the cover the cups already have like covers and they come they come with their spoons i got it from amazon so that's where i'm gonna put in my yogurt put it in the freezer and anybody can take the snack to snack on whenever they want to so yeah so i'm just gonna take them out i got them from amazon as i mentioned earlier yeah try to put them and try to just take the yogurt that's the spoon i'll be using take the yogurt and just put it in to the cup it has its cover so once i put it in there clean it properly put on the cover and then put it in the freezer so anybody can snack on it whenever they want to it's something i really like though because but sometimes when i go out i don't tend to eat it outside that much and it's actually my first time doing it this way so i'm so happy the way it came out because it came out and tasted exactly the way i have always wished to have it 
so this is the end of the homemade yogurt with powdered milk as you can see i got six cups out of that mixture and mind you these cups are so big yeah the next time i'll get the little cups